So it is nine o'clock here and uh, it's other times wherever everyone else is. <laughs> but thank you for uh, being here in person and joining us virtually for the uh, beginning of the Viewfind Summit at WolfCon 2023. We talked about Viewfind a little bit yesterday, but we're going to have a lot more Viewfind uh, today and tomorrow. So starting with the traditional state of the project talk. Uh, I'm going to try to keep this under 20 minutes because we also have a group of presenters to talk to us about uh, free SSL support and a variety of open source tools. I wanna to be sure they have enough time and then we'll save uh, questions to the end and can have a combined uh, Q&A. So, um, first of all, I wanted to uh, make some thanks to a variety of people uh, thanks to the Open Library Foundation for their support of Viewfind and this conference. Thanks to everyone who's contributed to planning uh, WolfCon. I'm particularly grateful that it was set up in such a way that free virtual participation is still supported so we can remain as inclusive as we have been historically. Uh, I also wanted to thank Viewfind's registered service providers, which are uh, a variety of companies and organizations that offer viewfind related services and also uh, give back to the viewfind community directly. Uh, their support is greatly appreciated and I recommend that you reach out to them if you need any viewfind related help. So we have uh, effective web work, Equinox, HealthNet Nepal, Index Data, Marmot Library Network and Oryx in alphabetical order. And you can learn more about exactly what services all of these companies provide if you go to the viewfind.org website and click the support link. So uh, I always like to start by talking about what's new since the last time I gave some version of this talk. And that is, of course, Viewfind 9.0 and then a few bug fix releases uh, that followed it. Uh, the biggest new feature in Viewfind 9.0 is uh, what we call blended search, which is a uh, contribution courtesy of the National Library of Finland. Uh, and what this will do is take uh, records from multiple search backends. So for example, your local solar index and EDS and WorldCat or whatever, and it will interleave them into a single result set. It even allows faceting. It takes a bit of mapping to set up as I'm sure you can imagine, but you know, when, when people ask, can't we just have it all in one search list? We no longer have to say, no, you can't. Now we can say, do some work. And then you kind of can't. <laughs> uh, we've also added a cookie consent dialog, which you can turn on if you need that feature. Uh, we've added star ratings on records, uh, which people ask for occasionally, if you want to have a numeric value applied by your users to your, your collection. Uh, we've changed the way that we uh, process and store mark records in the solar index to make it a little more efficient and reliable, though we still support the old methods as well. Uh, we also added support for proxy relationships for users, so a user can place a request on behalf of a proxy. Uh, right now, this is only implemented for Folio, but the architecture is there and any other ILS that supports the functionality could implement this fairly easily. Um, we've improved our feedback handling. So there's a feedback form that you can turn on or customize in Viewfind, or you can even have multiple feedback forms. Uh, and now it's possible to store the results of that form in a database instead of just sending an email, which is how it previously worked. And you can even manage uh, that database through an administration panel so you can mark things as responded to and so forth. Uh, we added a new, uh, I don't know if CAPTCHA is exactly the right word, but it's part of our CAPTCHA system, the interval CAPTCHA. So you can limit the number of times a user can take a specific action within a specific window of time. So, you know, like don't let somebody send more than one email per minute. Uh, and we've made significant improvements to the theme. Um, if you've been following these talks, you know that we always are promising that we will have a revamped theme and we never seem to have a fully revamped theme because it's an iterative process. Um, but this continues to be ongoing. We've had a lot of uh, accessibility work contributed to the project. It keeps getting better. We keep working on it. Uh, also, what else is new? Um, the community continues to grow and become better organized. 
Uh, over the past year, our monthly community call has become a lot more focused on development activities. For a couple of years, we used it to do tutorial video recordings, and we now have a whole library of those. So we haven't had to do much more tutorial work. So we've instead focused on taking a monthly look at open pull requests and open tickets and prioritizing and distributing the work. Uh, and I think that's been pretty helpful. Uh, as you saw from earlier, the registered service provider program has been a success with a lot of uh, generous organizations stepping forward to support us. Uh, and we're currently running a, a broader fundraising campaign for organizations and individuals that want to just contribute any amount to the project to help with our work. So if you find .org donate, we would appreciate your pledge. Uh, no tote bags yet, I'm sorry. Um, uh, and the project management committee continues to meet monthly to work on various project administration matters. Uh, you'll hear a little bit more about some of the things we're working on in a moment. Uh, so what's coming up? Our next significant release is Viewfind 9.1, which is uh, in the final stages of development and should be released in October. Uh, this adds a couple of new search backends, which might be of interest to some people, courtesy of uh, the team at Lehigh. Um, these include the EBSCO publication finder, if you want to be able to search that in ViewFind, and also the LibGuides A to Z uh, database list system. Uh, so these might be useful for embedding additional things into your bento boxes, etc. Uh, we've also added self-service user transaction history purging, where the ILS has user transaction history saved and the capability to purge it. Uh, I think right now this might be a primarily a Koha feature, um, but again, it can be implemented elsewhere. Uh, we've removed support for PHP 7, which has reached end of life, which means that we can now start to take full advantage of PHP 8, um, which will add some nice uh, benefits in the future. Ongoing work on accessibility, it never ends. We can always do better. We keep doing better. Um, and of course, the usual many smaller bug fixes and enhancements. Uh, a little further in the future, of course, we're looking at Viewfind 10 coming out in 2024. Uh, there's that major theme overhaul that I keep promising. We, we keep moving toward it. And it's a, a major topic of the September community call. So the, if this interests you, uh, please join us uh, at the community call in September uh, to talk about some logistics there. Uh, some work that's currently actively ongoing related to overhauling the theme is uh, better integration between the Lightbox and single sign-on. Right now, uh, the way ViewFind works is if you open something that pops up in a Lightbox and makes you log in through single sign-on, you do get redirected back to the right place, but you're not in a Lightbox anymore, and it it's a little bit inconsistent, and this work will fix that. Uh, also, dynamic loading of search results. So when you go to the next page of search results, instead of fully reloading the whole page, it will just repopulate uh, the search results portion. Uh, this enables us to make some accessibility and performance improvements, uh, but it will still work if you have JavaScript turned off. So best of both worlds. Uh, Ongoing accessibility improvements. I know I keep saying it over and over again, but many people in the community are working on accessibility and are contributing improvements back. Uh, I don't mean to suggest that ViewFind is not already quite an accessible product. It is, but there are always things around the edges that are annoying or could be better, and we keep trying to uh, get closer to perfection. Uh, also, uh, I mentioned WorldCat earlier. We integrate with WorldCat through their ancient version one API, which I think they really want to get rid of. I'm hoping that we'll have some time during the development of ViewFind 10 to integrate with the ViewFind, I mean, with the WorldCat 2 API so that we continue to embed results from other libraries uh, in our results for people who use that feature. Uh, and also technical debt. It's not glamorous, but we need to keep on top of it. And so time permitting, we have a few different priorities uh, that we'll be working on. Uh, one of course is raising the PHP requirement to 8.1 since 8.0 is going to hit end of life this coming November. Um, and that again, will let us update other dependencies and take advantage of new features and so forth. Um, we're working on getting rid of some uh, Laminas components that are no longer uh, actively supported. Uh, the big one is the database abstraction layer, which we're working on replacing with Doctrine. There's a pull request in progress on that, but 
as you can probably imagine, it's it's huge. Um, and also uh, taking advantage of new solar features. Uh, the obvious thing is that there's a new API for faceting in solar. By new, I mean it's several years old, but we finally reached the point where they've deprecated the original facet API. So we should start looking at using the new one before they take away the one that we currently rely on. And what else is next? Uh, some community development stuff. Uh, next steps, raising funds, which is of course ongoing, continue improving documentation. We've made some good strides over the last year in reviewing and improving our wiki and have had some strategic ideas for uh, better documentation. That's always a work in progress too. Uh, and we want to finish implementing a standard translation platform to make internationalization more convenient. For many years, it's been a labor intensive manual process where I email files to 30 people. And uh, I'm hoping that we can centralize it into a web-based process. Uh, Andre, who's in the room here, has been uh, doing a lot of investigation in that. The two of us got together last night and I think made some very promising progress. So I'm hoping that maybe by even the October release, we might be able to start using uh, Localize, which is also used by Folio as ViewFind's uh, translation platform. So uh, the other thing I, I always like to talk about here is the road mapping session, which is uh, happening tomorrow. Uh, I'm hoping that many of you will be able to attend that. Uh, as I mentioned, we've really done a lot of ongoing road mapping on the community call this past year. So maybe this year's road mapping session will be a little bit different because we have our eyes on the ball a little better. Uh, so it might be a good opportunity to uh, talk about bigger picture issues uh, but anyway, I'm just going to put forth my list of things that you might want to think about in preparation for that. Um, theme development logistics, as I said, that's a major topic for next month's community call, but doesn't hurt to talk about that early or if you can't make that call and have some ideas. Uh, any ideas for how the community could support you better or do more things? Welcome uh, to suggest those. Any features your institutions need uh, that you don't have, let us know. We can see if it's already on the roadmap or can or should be added. Uh, any local code that you've worked on that you'd like to share back, uh, this is a good opportunity to talk about how that could happen if it's not already underway. Uh, any needs that you might have for tutorials or documentation or training that aren't already available. Uh, and also before road mapping occurs, we're going to have some lightning talks here. Um, so if you have any inspiration or want to challenge the community with an idea and give us a five minute talk, uh, please consider uh, giving a lightning talk. And then that can help to inform the road mapping as well. And of course, think about how you can help. Uh, we always can use more help. And so if you can advocate for the ViewFind project or commit any time to any of the activities we're doing, we always appreciate it. And as part of uh, that session, we can talk about how to get you engaged if you wish to do that. Uh, and that's the latest news. So uh, as I say, I'm hoping to save uh, questions to the end, um, but in the meantime, if you want more details, there's always viewfind.org. Um, the conference planning document that we use as part of the ViewFind Summit has been created. It's linked from the summit page. I know that's a long, crazy URL, but if you just go to viewfind.org, there's a green banner at the top of the page for the summit. That'll take you to this page, and from there you can get to the document. Um, and that page has a sign up for lightning talks. Uh, feel free to sign up whether you're physically here or remote. We'll make it work. Uh, and there are also some places where you can start to drop in ideas for the roadmap discussion. Uh, should be open to edit, so please don't vandalize it, but put in uh, whatever you like. Um, and of course, I'm always uh, available by email or on the ViewFind Slack, so you can always reach out to me later if you don't get to talk to me today or tomorrow. <laughs>